Welcome back everyone and we're back with another first look, this time Transport Fever 2, the console edition. I say we just jump into the campaign and we'll just talk Mankind about it as we go. constantly creating amazing new inventions. Get involved in rapid technological progress and ensure smoothly running transportation in different regions of the world. Here we go. America, in the midst of the 19th century. In the Nevada Territory, where until recently only a handful of buffalo grazed, nowadays it's all hustle and bustle. Beyond the Sierra and near the Carson River, gold has been found. There's supposed to be loads of it. All you need to do is... I bet there isn't. Anyone who keeps at it hard enough will be richly rewarded. All what you have to do is dig it up. If only it was that easy, we'd all do it. So this is campaign mode. Um, there is a there is a free mode as well. We're on the PS5 today. I want to say a big thank you as well to Nacon and Urban Games for sending me a key to play this on the channel. Quite excited about it. Let's see what it's all about though. Looks pretty good, doesn't it? Welcome to uncharted territory, newcomer. Wanna get rich? Oh yeah. Then you're in just the right place. Gold Rush Fever holds sway in Virginia City. And you, you lucky devil, you've won the mining rights for a promising claim in a poker game with the Red Dog Saloon. It's gotta be too good to be true, surely. Soon, you'll be hauling out gold nuggets as big as a cat's head. <laughs> as big as a cat's head. Let's, let's hope it's a leopard Thanks to or a tiger. Thanks to and luck at cards, you have a gold mine all your own. The former owner, a gal at the saloon by the name of Susie, who plays a lousy hand of poker, already took care of the groundwork. And a, a practical woman, she left the necessary equipment behind, too. Now all you have to do is to find the mine. Get an overview and find out where the riches lie. So the campaign mode is probably worth doing first because it acts as a sort of tutorial. You can see here it's getting me to the usual up, down, swing it around, blah, 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 to get used to the camera angles. Um, it'll also teach us, hopefully, what all the different icons mean and the different tasks we need to do. So I would recommend if you do pick this up on console, Especially if you're like me, you've not played a game like this before. I think the nearest game to this that I've played is probably Railway Empire. And that's only very loosely Discover like this. The entrance to the tunnel. Right, so now we've got to go to the inspector. I guess that's the clue with a big question mark. So I'm just getting used to the moving the camera around. Uh, but this looks like the entrance to the mine, doesn't it? So we need to use the inspector. There we go. What a promising claim. Even though only a few boulders have been mined so far, that's no reason to lose heart. You'll just have to dig deeper. You ought to get hold of some solid timber from the nearby forest so that the fine shaft doesn't cave in. The beams will be excellent for stabilizing the tunnel. Build a station where the horse carts can be packed with logs. Okay, so it's good that it's guiding us, so we need to build this. I'm just going to mess around with these settings a little bit because the tilt is not to my uh, not to my liking. We need to build a, a depot right there, a truck stop in the highlighted area. So yeah, so this is good. So it, it's going to give us a tutorial. Otherwise, I think the menus are a bit the menus are a bit confusing. So I believe we need to turn it so it goes white. Explain to the sort of thick skulled driver so it's in the right which place. route he should take. And then we need to establish a line which runs from that new stop all the way to the mine. So this is the line manager. So if we click on new line, 
click on the first station as it were and now, the second one ah there we go a okay small depot to park the horse drawn carts too so a depot where the horses and carts actually go and again it needs to be in a similar area so it's highlighting it for us in this kind of tutorial And you can see the prices of each of these buildings. We do start set. down the bottom right now, corner. I think we started with ten million. To get hold of a cart to transport the wood. So, of course, the general idea of the game is it's a kind of management game, a bit like a tycoon sort of game. Looks as if we're going to build these cities up with different, uh, diff there's different factories, different suppliers. There's uh, different modes of transport I'm assuming if you pick something like a train it's going to cost way more than using a horse and car as we're going to do here and you can see in the right hand corner we're in 1865 so I believe the setting you can go from the 1850s all the way up to the present day which is quite nice and the different modes of transport like here, we've got the horse drawn carriages. We've got a sturdy period vehicle. specific transport can get more started. to transport. But as we move through the years, that list will expand um, and eventually we will get motorized vehicles, uh, trains, etc. etc. So, uh, what I'm doing now is allocating a vehicle to the line. So, in this tutorial, you see it's flashing yellow there. I need to press R1. Uh, now, th this is confusing. Um, at first, you know, what I would say is, you know, stick with it. It's, they've done the best on the controller. This will definitely be easier on a PC, but they've done the best with the controller to get all the buttons into the UI. And um, some things at the beginning are very, very confusing. But you will get there in the end. So there's, <laughs> there's a lot of what I'm doing here, trying to work out how to allocate things. You see, I get there in the end. Well then, good But luck. don't give up. It's good. It's very good. So now we have to wait until the horses deliver to the mine. So we're taking wood to the mine. So let's try and find the horses. They should be coming out of the depot, I believe. There's the doors opening. There they come. So you always need a depot for every form of transport you've got. So build the line, build the depot, add the vehicles, and the horse whistles. Well, the horse doesn't whistle. The horse neighs. You whistle <laughs> by pressing square. Um, you've got to allocate then the vehicles, whatever it is, to the line, and then you leave it, and it, it, it does it for you. So you can see here we've got zero out of four logs. We can carry a maximum of four logs on this horse and cart. So he'll get loaded up. You can see he's got four now. You can see in the bottom right there. He's got four out of four. So now he's on his way. So you can also speed up time. So this little mission now, we have to wait until he delivers. So we could be here forever. Now, now it depends how long you're playing. You might want to watch this happening. It's, it is quite good. The, the detail is very good. You might want to watch some of this. But you can speed the time up, as you can see, with the R3 button, which is what I'm doing just now. So we get these logs delivered. Watch we don't run over any people in this town. Look at the horse's legs there going ten to the dozen. <laughs> I love it. But this game, this is a slow burning game. You know, don't don't jump in thinking you can complete this in, you know, a week or two weeks. It's not that type of thing. This will take you quite some time. You've got to manage your money down there, the bottom left hand corner. Once you get into free mode and you've no instructions, you just pick a town, start developing a town, not connecting it to other places, keeping going. the industry going, etc. etc. Et just like we're doing here. But under your own steam. The mine only brings in a few chunks of silver ore. At best, you ought to get rid of it before it ruins you. Luckily, you greenhorns constantly get stranded in the Silver ore, city. that's all we've got in this mine. And I knew it. For good money. So, we got rid of the silver mine for a decent amount. 
Time to invest this money in a lucrative venture. There's an excellent opportunity. All the ore from the mine must be transported to the silver mills down by the river. The railroad that takes over the transport will be a promising venture. Okay, so this is good. So now it's telling us that um, we've got silver ore in our mine and we can build our first railway to take it to a different town. So let's do that. Um, so we need to build a train station, it looks like, first. So we go to the rail tab, buildings. It's highlighted in yellow which one we need, which is quite nice to begin with. Now the platform's too long, so let's set it to 120 metres. We need to spin it round so it's in the box. Just using the D-pad for that. The terrain is treacherous and it requires a few very twisted curves. So it's got part of the rail, but there's some tracks missing. So Devil's Pass, Skull Rocks, Washington Hill. So we just need to connect these up. So once again, if we go to the rail and then tracks. Actually, that's buildings. We need to move over to tracks. That's it. And we should be able to hook up between these. They need to go to the same colour, so purple to purple. Straight through that hill. Is that doing it? Oh, there's a gap there. There's a gap, isn't there? So, let's try that again. So, this is where zooming in... This is where zooming in comes in. It's a bit fiddly to begin with. Let me bulldoze that. And zoom in, get it right on the end of the track. Just a bit more, there we go, that's it. You see what I mean about the controls? You've got to be super precise. I'm just zooming in with uh, the triggers on the controller. So we'll go green to green. Let me build that one. And then we've got one more from yellow to yellow. This is Washington Hill. Quite a bridge across that ravine there. Build that. Build a rail there we go. Route that rapidly transports all the ore to the valley. So now we need a cargo station. But we'll do a we'll do a line first. So we need to like we did in the first one with the horses and carts, we need to pick a station to a station. So if we highlight this first one, just add it. That's Virginia City. And then uh, just follow it along. I mean, you can zoom in and out. You can zoom right out and zoom right back in. But uh, being as a beginner, I like to have a look what it is we're doing and where we're going. So there's the second a city. railroad calls for a proper railroad yard. So now we need to build a depot. So in, in the same way we built a depot for the horses and carts in the first task, we need to build a depot where we assign the actual trains. So let's do that. So it's again, it's highlighting where it wants us to put it. A truly well done structure. Now it just needs to be connected. Right, so let's connect it to our rails. So it's like a kind of a a siding of this main of this main route. So if we got a tracks, and again I'm assuming we just click on the dots once we do this. So it highlights it blue and then just connect it to the track and then build it. It's high time there to we buy go. a beautiful locomotive together with a few freight cars. So we pick the depot and buy a loco and three freight cars that we can use for the silver ore. Okay. So you do start to get the hang of it, but it takes some time. So we need to pick the depot. Then we need to... So this is what we've got so far. We've got passenger cars and we've got the gondolas. So we need, we need the gondolas. And I think we had to have three of these. So pay attention to the cargo type as well. You see there, we've got silver ore. But the passenger cars are showing what passengers as they would do. Horse. Just Time so you don't buy the wrong vehicle. 
So the vehicle is currently in the depot. We need to assign it to our line. So if we set the line, the line is called line Ore two. Ore transport is picking up speed. And there it With goes. A little luck, it'll make you richer than all the silver in Nevada ever could. So now, as we did in the first mission, we've got to wait until the train delivers the silver. So here it is, chugging along. I've, sp I've sped up time just very slightly at the bottom. And this is good. Now, you could do this in Railway Empire as well. You, could, you can actually enjoy the game by jumping on board the train and going for a full ride. So, let's do that. This is the station. There's our mine in the background. Let's see how much silver ore we actually pick up. And it auto turns the train, as you can see. So we've got seven out of a maximum capacity of 21 on board. So we're heading for Carson City now. And that's that's the general, you know, that's the general gist of the game. It's it's a lot of the same kind of thing. This is this is a very easy introduction to it. And I'm quite looking forward actually to getting into the free mode, into the free play, because there you can set your challenge. You can have uh, you know, easy, medium, hard, and you start with a different budget, and it, it just gets more difficult to manage that budget. But you can choose in free play from uh, several different zones. Uh, one of those, uh, I know, it's, it's got the UK sort of names on the. I saw a few fami familiar names the other night when I was watching somebody else play this, uh, which was quite funny, even though they look nothing like the real thing. But um, we're in the US, as you can see on this map, to begin with, so uh, there is a European map which I'm going to play in free mode. Uh, I'll probably start it on easy. But, yeah, just, just in summing up, I think this is a good game to bring to console, and I'm really glad they've done that. Uh, it's not full of action, it depends, you'll either love it, or you'll hate it, or you'll be in the middle. I was a bit frustrated at the beginning with the controls, but the more rep repetition that I did, the controls became easier, and it's certainly easy enough to play it on the controller for the PS5. So, I, I think it's a really good game, I think it's one you're going to burn a lot of hours in. I don't think it's something you're gonna. You're not gonna complete it quickly. There's a lot to do. You can you can complete it. You can start again. You can start with a different level of difficulty. Start in a different area. Um, it's got a lot of potential, I think. And there is the standard edition. There is the deluxe edition, which has got a few more skins, including the Intercity uh, HST Intercity One Two Five, uh, which I'm assuming comes available once you get to that specific era in the game. Um, but I'm certainly looking forward to doing a bit more of this. I'm going to play a little bit of it offline, uh, get a bit more used to it. But you guys let me know what you think. Are you picking this game up? Did you pick it up? I'd be interested to know. Is this your type of game on the PS5? Thanks to your I doubt it's Silver what you bought a PS5 for, to be honest. Uh, but it's very relaxing and um, you can easily spend a few hours and not really know where the time has gone. So... As a first look, yeah, I give it a thumbs up, I quite like it. Hope you've enjoyed the video, leave me a like, don't forget to subscribe, we'll do some more Transport Fever 2 over the coming days, weeks and months. Take care, and I will see you on the next one. Bye for now. Your services are needed to the same degree everywhere in town.